Okay, hi there, Jeff back again with another key video uh, looking at diagrams for your economics papers. In the last video, we worked through the short run shutdown point. Let's spend a few minutes together just working through the long run shutdown concept. So a business needs to make at least normal profit in the long run to justify remaining staying in a specific industry. Uh, in the short run, however, a firm will continue to produce as long as price per unit is greater than or equal to the average variable cost. So we call that the short run shutdown condition. But in the long run, they need to cover uh, all their costs, uh, both implicit and explicit. So normal profit is included in the average cost of a business, in part because it represents the opportunity cost of capital. So if I put £100,000 into a business, uh, that £100,000 investment could have made an alternative return. I could have bought a buy to let property, put it into shares, whatever. So the opportunity cost of capital invested in a business is included in the average costs. So if price equals average cost, then we are covering all of our costs and therefore normal profit, uh, normal profits are being made. A quick, a quick revision, let's go back to the short run and the short uh, shutdown price in the short run. So I'm just taking a competitive market here, perfect competition, where we have a given price in the market. So the blue line there shows the demand curve. And at that price, they're just covering their variable costs, uh, but obviously well below average cost. So that is the minimum price they need to produce in the short run. Any uh, price below that, they wouldn't produce. In fact, the supply curve is the marginal cost curve above that price. Uh, in the uh, long run, you need to cover all your costs. Let's go back a slide. In the short run, you need to cover variable costs. In the long run, to stay in the market, a business needs to cover all costs. So the price will need to go up to P2. Can you see that output Q2? Uh, that's uh, just tangential to the average cost curve. That output, that price does just <laughs> cover average cost. So that means we're making normal profit. Any price below that in the long run would be an economic loss and might lead to the departure of firms from the market. Of course, the firm could do better than that. So P2, let's go back to slide. P2 is the uh, making normal profit. By the way, at that point at P2, uh, we say that the economic profit is zero. But at P3, higher price, happy days, because now uh, the profit maximizing output is Q3. And there's the price P3. But there's the unit cost AC. So this is economic profit. Uh, any profit above the level of normal profit. It's also referred to, of course, as super normal profit. Let me shade that in for you. There's the profit in total shown by the yellow shaded area. So there we go. A quick journey through the short and the long run shutdown prices.